the 15th chapter. Paul writes, We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, in order to build him up. For Christ did not please himself, but, as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised in order to show God's truthfulness, in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs, and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again it is said, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will come, even he who arises to rule the Gentiles. In him will the Gentiles hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. This is the word of your Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, But now, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son.
in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin neither run into any kind of danger but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. <laughs> 